this piece of content is very much different from all of the things that I have done so far. Well, not really, but it's very much different from uh, from recent previous ones. But this is going to be the fourth one on YouTube, the second one on Spotify, and I don't know, uh, maybe the first time that I'm going to publish this as well on Slack. But you know, you know, uh, the following of the following piece or content that you're going to listen to is actually an elaboration of an original report that I have made uh, under a pseudonym. I would link it in the description or in the show notes and so that you can read it for yourself as a report. But you know, I intended to have this uh, this piece as a as an opinion piece or as a uh yeah as an opinion piece regarding all of the all of what's happening on uh on Mr Beast there i said it i don't know if i'm going to be demonetized but fuck it this has to be done because you know uh, whatever happens it's going to taint Jimmy Donaldson's rep- reputation forever. So, any and all additional opinions and modifications that have been added, uh, in the that were not in the original report were added by were added after the fact by yours truly, so that it can reflect my own perspective regarding this. So, with that said, here goes nothing. Mr. Beast, the 300 million subscriber YouTube channel and the media company behind it of the same name, is under fire in recent days due to double allegations directed to its founding co-presenters, Jimmy Donaldson and Ava Chris Tyson, regarding their questionable work ethics and predatory behavior, respectively. With allegations mounting up, and it still continues to mount up as of this recording, it could be reckoned that the whole damn thing is going to come crashing down in the very near future. Now, don't even get me started by some Christians who think Donaldson is the Antichrist because he che- he just checked several boxes for some Christians monitoring and studying the Book of Revelation. But either way, it has to it has the o- whole online world caught. In the fucking storm. Hi, I'm Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things, and this is a very special. I don't want to say episode or whatever, but this is a very special content from yours truly, which I would be uploading for both the Intrepid Show and the Intrepid Podcast. So that's that. And as you may have heard in the intro, we are going to talk about. Perhaps the rise and imminent fall of Jimmy Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. Now, it could be recalled that that Tyson was allegedly fired after Donaldson was made aware of the sexual allegations, especially because those formerly associated with the company claimed that they were sexually abused by Tyson when they were still minors. And to add here, some of them have been complicit to it, especially Donaldson. Now, he eventually tweeted, I, regarding Do- I'm talking about Donaldson here, that he had removed, removed Tyson from the firm and, quote, hired an independent third party to investigate the matter. It only remains to be seen if there will be criminal char- charges involved. Now, this statement of Donaldson's, however, was different from Tyson's previous statement that he and I prefer to dead gender Chris Tyson as punishment for his alleged actions, uh, chose to leave Mr. Beast as part of a mutually decided action. And mutually decided is the quote here. In the aftermath of the revelation, several people came forward to expose what they claimed were poor management decisions, especially with an Amazon Prime miniseries currently in production. 
However, the whole situation could be traced back as early as the beginning of this decade when Mr. Beast has framed himself as a child-friendly channel with videos that feature people being incentivized for their participation as well as allegedly promoting illegal lottery through giveaways. So you may ask me, Ian, how did this all start? To answer you, criticism of Donaldson could be traced back to the British communist YouTube channel, The Cavernacle, and uh, I'm not sure if he's communist, but generally he's he's a leftist creator. After uh, he, the creator behind it, uploaded a video in 2020, if I am not mistaken, around around this time in 2020, so it's exactly four years old, calling Donaldson's philanthropic works, works quote-unquote, gross and exploitative. In the social media context, it can be considered poverty pornography, and yet many would still give it, give him, I'm calling, Donald, calling out Donaldson here, a free pass because perhaps he is doing some charity work. But he has since been predicted right. I'm talking about uh, the cavernacle here. Because since the expose on Donaldson and Tyson's uh, and Tyson, the channel has compiled a playlist that exposed Donaldson's alleged fraudulent practices over the years after releasing the most recent video against him, which was uploaded on July 29th, 2024, almost exactly four years to the day he... Uh, uploaded a video against Mr. Beast back in 2020. Honestly, it is understandable that not everyone knew that an alleged bread tuber talked shit on Donaldson as early as four years ago because some of the creator's takes are themselves questionable. So I guess I'm giving credit to where credit is due for this bread tuber, but personally, I'm a bit skeptical when it comes to his intentions as to why. But then, in 2023, another video from Australian commentary YouTuber Lachlan Windross, more known for his channel Sunny V2, revealed that Tyson's transitioning from Chris, the male uh, version of Tyson, to Ava Chris, the trans woman uh, transition, as well as his divorce from his wife and abandoning their son in the process, would eventually become a nightmare for Donaldson which he, his fans, and other YouTubers ridiculed at the time. Windross remained unapologetic for his video but has since retitled it post-backlash. His prediction, though, was right as well. However, he he has yet to comment on the current issue regarding Tyson with some of Windross's viewers saying that he was vindicated for his perspective. Now, fast forward to mid-July, at least two former Mr. Beast Discord admins came forward to accuse Tyson of predatory behavior, including grooming of minors, sharing child pornography content, and even purchasing such from controversial Swiss comic artist Shadai Prejean. Prejean. I'm not sure if this is a French or German or whatever, or a romance name, but he's... Uh, he is more known as Shadman, specifically what was claimed as a sexualized portrayal of the young daughter of Drama Alert presenter Daniel Keem, a.k.a. Keemstar, which was allegedly featured in an old Mr. Beast video. However, it while it was true that Keemstar's daughter was portrayed indecently by Shadman, it, re- it was revealed uh, after the fact that the artwork Tyson purchased was not Keemstar's daughter, but another young girl. Nevertheless, as someone suspecting myself to be autistic, the artwork Tyson had was not only morally bankrupt in general, but also insulting to the autism spectrum in particular. On the other hand, one of the alleged victims, only known for his social media handle LavaGS, initially defended Tyson from the alleged claims and called them quote-unquote lies, but he later admitted that the alleged messages he received from Tyson were quote-unquote inappropriate, but still fell short of accusing Tyson of predatory behavior against him. Now, 
Tyson is not the only person in the LGBT plus community creating an issue within the month of July because there's also this cross-dressing gay Filipino based in Cebu who goes with the she-her pronouns uh, who went viral on social media after forcing a restaurant staff to stand for two fucking hours due to alleged misgendering. There's also the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics, which is currently ongoing as of this recording, that can be considered a dog shit show, for the lack of a better term. And it's another can of fucking worms that I would leave to the cultural, uh, to the cultural uh, commentators out there. It's uh, much has been said about that thing. Hi, post Prodi in here, and uh. This is very huge, and I would be remiss if I would not include this because, as you may notice in my accent and the way that I say things, I'm a Filipino, and there's a big revelation in the showbiz industry wherein, sorry for the, uh, for the background noise there, wherein someone, uh, an actor, a young actor, was allegedly s aid by two huh, gay men who are also involved in the showbiz industry, which triggered the victim's father, who is also an actor, to share a cryptic post, which translated from Tagalog means, you started it, I'll finish it. Whatever this is, this is fucked up. But suffice it to say that much has allegedly been said about the Chris Tyson allegation from bo- from left, right, and center, and it would just get worse from here. Because in addition to the aforementioned allegations and several others connecting him for not doing anything prior to it becoming public, Donaldson was also being criticized for his alleged mismanagement of the upcoming Amazon Prime series, Beast Games. It was revealed that Donaldson's media crew were accused of allegedly neglecting the welfare, health, and safety of the production's participants. Local news outlet Vital Vegas made a report saying that alleged poor conditions were detected in which the Beast Games participants were being exposed to, including subpar treatment, injuries on set, and even hospitalizations. On the other hand, former Mr. Beast participant and social media influencer Rosanna Pansino, a a vocal critic of Donaldson since um, she was allegedly ripped off in a certain quote-unquote creator games installment, confirmed the allegations in the Vital Vegas report in a video over the weekend. Or, uh, uh, let's just say in... Uh, if you're re- listening to this uh, long after the incident, around uh, July 27th, 28th, that uh, weekend. Meanwhile, a former Mr. Beast employee uploaded a YouTube video exposing Donaldson's alleged fraudulent modus operandi in all of the videos it produced, as well as his questionable workplace and corporate ethics which he allegedly whitewashes with giveaway live streams and charitable efforts. Now, these alleged allegations have since been cl- uh, claimed debunked by a current Mr. Beast employee, but such criticisms were also criticized and ridiculed not only by the original guy. I think his name is Dogback404. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's both the, the name of the YouTube channel and the, and the X account. X is basically the social media platform formerly known as Twitter. Don't even get me started with Feastables, the Mr. Beast developed chocolate chocolate line, and uh, that Santi Massa of food theory tried to warn us about. So uh, I'm also linking uh, Santi's uh, take on Feastables, Feastables in the video description or in the Spotify show notes. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the first, uh, one of the first videos Santi hosted uh, on food theory since Matt Pat retired. So uh, that's that. Now, with all that said, 
it remains to be seen and it is only a matter of time whether all of these issues would become the downfall of the Mr. Beast brand as, it, as we know it or if either Donaldson, Tyson, or both would be investigated or criminally charged. And while I see these things as a stretch, well, some Christians have called Donaldson the Antichrist or one of the candidates for the Antichrist for a lot of coincidences. These include his birth year, 1998, being divisible by three and ending up with a quotient 666, known as the number of the beast, the Mr. Beast logo fitting the bill on the book of Revelation, having his poor wording on helping a thousand blind people and even deaf, deaf people, if I'm not mistaken, uh, see and hear respectively, as a perception of him allegedly working miracles, some claims that he was once a Christian but abandoned it to follow the money, where there is also a similar claim that could be applied to Tyson as well but with lust and promiscuity, his partner writing a book with the title The Marked Children, and so on, and so on, and so forth. With that, let me answer three questions. First, did Jimmy Donaldson and Chris Tyson do something incriminatingly wrong? Yes, they did. Two, should they face the law, have their day in court, and or be imprisoned for all of it? Probably, if they are proven as such. And three, is Donaldson the Antichrist, the one who would deceive the people of God at the end of the age? The answer to that is, I don't know. He may be trying to get there, but since he's exposed this early in his life, that might be impossible. But what do we know? Now, to conclude, and not to, ma- not to be a Debbie Downer or a doom- Doomer and Gloomer, let me go ahead and imitate the path of Chandler Hallow which is uh, another uh, former Mr. Beast collaborator who had a literal come-to-Jesus moment and has since been reading sacred scripture on TikTok. And maybe uh, quote the Gospels regarding all of these things that I have mentioned earlier and let you, yes you, dear listener, discern for yourself. There is a verse in the Gospel of St. Luke that reads like this. Thus saith the Lord, it is impossible that scandals should not come, but woe to him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should scandalize one of these little ones. So much for virtue signaling. What is a woman? A woman does not have these... Oh.